Very pretty atmosphere at restaurant. Again, I think most of this wall that I'm looking at is reconstructed. That cement looks really new. Again, more restaurant space. Whether this was actually ever a structure like this is anybody's guess. Here's some walls and probably by the round look of that exterior wall there and these walls up here, this was also a tower. Whether it was capable of signaling another tower such as Kruya where I was yesterday or Prel, which is a Prez, which is another one, I don't know. Certainly not through this fog that's, or smog that sits on top of um, Tirana. Defensively, of course, it's predictably very effective, but as for a siege, again, it depends on your resources and their persistence. I do notice a couple of round holes, one at the bottom center of the picture and one off to the right, plus several roundish squarish holes, one with a uh, lintel above it, and these probably held the uh, cross beams for a floor that ran at this level. Just one example of some of the faux castle work being done in this apparent resort area. This perhaps was a secondary entrance or maybe there was an area behind that uh, door that uh, men could occupy as a guard room but I don't see there's nothing back there including not even a platform it just drops right off along the side of the hill so I don't know. And here the entrance area, which was probably some kind of a tower also, in which the walls rose much higher on the left here and then up the side of the hill there. I scored a ride with some nice folks that I chatted with at uh, the uh, castle. And uh, they dropped me off nearby, actually just about where I left today. So I walked down and thank the man, uh, a Don Corleone, if you will, of the bus stop. And I wanted to see this uh, kid's place here that's right nearby. So there I am, and then I'll keep on walking. Hi. There's several of these around that I've seen in town so far, and I haven't been all over town. I'm pretty sure these carousel horses are plastic, not the original. That would be incredible if they were original. Riding on the bus up to the base of Dajit National Park, I met a young woman and asked her directions. And we chatted for quite some time. And then she invited me to visit her family. And after the hike, I did. A family composed of three daughters, a son who was not present, father and mother and grandmother. Go ahead and start. So only the neighbor. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> where, where are you going to start? I don't start over here. Uh, yeah. Start with the arena. <laughs> Bigger. The big oh, sister. Older sister, oh. not bigger. Bigger is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the older sister. Every time, uh, old sister have, uh, it's lucky. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so we have the uh, Islamic and Yes. Okay, so the Okay, thanks. Uh, that is good for us. Okay. What about uh, father and grandmother? Yes, please. Know? Yes. They speak in Albanian. <laughs> you like the video? Do they speak in Albanian? Huh? Do they speak in Albanian? It's no problem. If they speak in Albanian, they can. I won't understand them, but they can. <laughs> <laughs> but you can tell you, you have your father speak in Albanian and then you can translate a bit of it. Yes. But then also if I meet people from that are from Albania I can say, oh listen to this. And then they can hear your father talking. <laughs> okay. 
pomoc, ja môžem robať pieskať, že okej. Symbol. Uj, symbol klos. Not true, but okej. You are recording? Yeah. You see a little red light, that's... You're on. Is this open? Yeah, there's a light. Isn't there a light? Maybe... Well, there's a light here. Okay. Yep, you're going. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I am uh, making the introduction of my family. <laughs> uh, That's my family. I am Griselda. Uh, these are my sisters, Dorina, Ella, uh, Matilda. Uh, it's my family. Matilda, go, Matilda. go slowly now, because otherwise the camera goes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry. Yeah. My father, yeah. my grandmother, ah, grandma. and the mother over there. Ah, yes. So, uh, what's a good pleasure for you to come to um, Azubinia one? Uh, so we hope that uh, we were lucky to lucky visit, to come back your visit. To uh, back visit that we enjoy the discussion here and uh, why not to come uh, here again well, thank you. after some years. <laughs> ah, well I don't know how many years there are left, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, you are welcome to come thank here too. It was a pleasure, really, really. Yeah. Here and to make uh, this discussion uh, for you as an American people and uh, for us. Okay, this ratty looking disheveled um, mushroom that's just about ready to fall over on top of that new building is one of Hasha's, the former communist dictator's, um, bomb shelters that in his paranoia he spread all over Albania. After a wonderful couple of hours uh, chatting with uh, Gracie and her family, I'm now with her help on my way up a cable car to Dajit, Dajit Mountain. It's D-A-J-T. something like those and they're buying that apartment on a loan from the bank. Here you can see several apartment complexes uh, under construction. It's interesting the economy is considered to be bad by the people that I talk to and yet there seems to be considerable construction, a great deal of new or newer buildings certainly in the last 20 years or whatever since the demise of Hasha's communist regime. A reservoir and it looks like a little satellite residential area before we make the next climb up. There an interesting geographical feature. I just assume that it's, yeah, it's an uplifting. You can see the angle going from lower right to upper left. <clears throat> but it also looks like it's been glacial, glacially worked. I don't know if that's true. Notice also that one building down there that seems to be inside the, or to go inside the mountain itself. Imagine the time span for all of this terracing that's now pretty much abandoned except for grazing. But once was probably pretty heavily maintained. restaurant up there somewhere. <clears throat> Called the Natural Balcony of Tirana. You can imagine in the summertime how this area fills up and probably there are hiking trails here that go on up onto the top of the mountain and elsewhere. 
But I've had a pretty good walk today, so I'll look for a short trail, if any. Looks like this hotel complex is closed down, falling into disrepair. Railings up there are rusted. Looks like the paint or the plaster is off this lower portion. Here another hosher, hosher mushroom, but it looks more like a uh, pillbox bunker, if you will. Here a close-up view. So it looks like you entered there. Now this behind me is blocked off the road as a military zone and it's manned. So it's perhaps that these, in this particular design, in this particular location, were functioning like the pillboxes of Normandy. I think this old gnarled tree is actually dead. You know, maybe not. Maybe off. Well, maybe there are still sprigs of life left in that some green, I think I see. But interesting, nevertheless. The kind that should turn into animated life. Here it looks like a woman looking off into the distance. Perhaps reflecting a dream, an inspired view. I'm afraid to go hiking where there isn't a trail, simply because of the general warning of landmines in the Balkans, but I think it applies mostly to the Kosovo region of that era. I can't tell looking at the building whether it almost was restored, certainly some work was done, um, or in the process of being totally abandoned. Most of the windows are gone, but there are a few up here. Some still open to the weather, so... I hear either radio or people talking inside, so something's happening, and there's a power line running up there. Maybe a little gazebo-like building stood here. But now I think that nearby hotel replaces this older one. And that bench that you can imagine the little stories told to each other on that bench. Here's one that either served its purpose, was blown up by an atomic bomb, or it's been abandoned and rolled here somehow. Looks like the hotel part was an afterthought. And there are a couple of Hasha elements, one of them. The stairway built over it. Let me think this also was abandoned. Here are three of Hasha's mushrooms in a row. We'll go take a closer look in case we can see inside. As you can see there used to be a door that swung down. Whether it completed the cone or not, it looks like it might have. Or the mushroom, I should say. And here we can see entranceways. Looks like the two were tied together, at least with the trench. Who knows who occupies this nowadays? We went in there and hung it right into the room. And it looks like it was built of components. And the components had these big iron rings on them so they could be lifted by cranes, of course. Here, perhaps, he allowed his engineers a lapse of imagination because this appears to be different than the others. Up towards the mountains and farther than the, an earlier one you can hear what sounds like a cuckoo. 